My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic. Today I'm reviewing John Dark Rebel. This is, now I found so many different prices about this, it was a bit confusing, and it went from about £40 to £73, which I don't really understand why there's such a massive shift in fragrances. The notes are, oh gosh, this is so long. So, uh, rum, sugarcane, cardamom, clary sage, black leather, balsam nutmeg, black pepper, <gasps> strax, tobacco leaf, black and vanilla, that wood I can never pronounce, Cade, Castorum, and another wood. Do we have our fragrance samples? Are we engaged with the high self? Let's get testing. Initially, I thought this smelled like pure tonka. I was the first in my brain went, ah, pure tonka. But it doesn't. It said if there isn't, obviously, some Roman chemicals because, you know, some Roman chemicals used here and there and everywhere. We all have the, all perfumes have the same things we go to. So this is heavy in castorum and heavy in a leather cord. It's a very intense, leathery fragrance. I can't really smell, detect a rum cord. Maybe background. I can't really smell sugar cane either. Davina or Dava, I can't pronounce these things. That is used when you can create rose accords. I can use it to create fruit accords as well. It's really nice, I like using it. Oh, I can smell the sugar cane coming through now, yes. This is heavy, dense, attitude-y, brooding, dark, bitter. They are manipulating castorum, heavy woods, frankincense, and a bit of vanilla, but it's very dense. So this is massively bass heavy. I'd say 60% bass, 30% middle, and just a tiny bit of top note. It's so heavy and dense, flat to the skin. I do like the frankincense and sandalwood notes on ATB Super, musk, and all that sort of filth at the base. This is a really dark, filthy fragrance. So, filth. If you've heard me talk about what I do with filth called, and I associate filth with darkness and heaviness and sensuality, and this is a lot of that throbbing through it. The marketing in this case is brilliant, and I think it's really, really superb. It has some cinnamon notes, which I love, so I just take them and I love cinnamon notes, and cinnamon notes can give sweetness quite a heavy, dense, dry formulation, so they are sweetening up and extending the wood notes with cinnamon notes. Benzol notes, benzol, benzol weights beautiful in this. So it says a balsamic, um, woody, leathery, frankincense fragrance. It's blissed me out a bit actually. Yeah, I quite like it. And I'm tingling, so I do like this. On to my final thoughts. Yes, I, I really like this actually. I think it's really f fabulous. The price is so good for it, gosh. I think if you love very dominant, heavy patchouli fragrances, you will really, really, really love this. So this is very dark, mysterious, sexy fragrance. This is absolutely not for anyone who loves the Ambroxin monsters. It is absolutely not for anyone who likes um, all that lightness and fluffiness and skipping around and being a naughty boy. This is for serious bad boys. I'd hope the packaging would be uh, like leather bound around it and just something really sexy, like a really sexy sort of like, uh, Q fragrance, uh, anti-establishment. So go through marks. Brilliant technical ability. Four four. Uh, I'm feeling very blissed out. Uh, price. I mean, for the price, it's dead on. I think because it is a lot of aroma chemicals in there, and I think it's um, nothing really um, spectacularly expensive. And I just think it's really cool though, actually. So I think it's a uh, brilliant. Do I like it? Yes, I really like it. This is brilliant. For you probably heard me talk about all the you know within this. I mean, can't remember what I said, but uh, if you are darker skinned, cannot get fragrances to latch on, always go for a base heavy fragrance. They stick onto the skin, and this will stick onto your skin. There's some lovely vanillins actually, so there's some vanillin coming through this, which is brilliant. Clean white musk, vanillin, balsams at the base, patchouli, which is your base of it, castorum, leather accord. I am not picking up any of the herbaceous notes at all, which I'm really pleased about. The sort of bad boy, it's absolutely dead on. Bad boy attitude and bad cool. I mean, it's dead on. 
the castorum and leather is just beautiful. This is really beautifully done. I'm going to mark this a nine. I think it's excellent. And the one mark comes off because it's not particularly sweet enough and it doesn't particularly have any. Uh, I'd like a few more top notes to it. But that is really, really personal. But I think this is the price is really, really phenomenal. I mean, if you could get this for about £50, oh my God, you've got a bargain on your hand. This is going to last you days. I mean, I can just imagine you spraying it on your clothing and it just sticking there and it not ever really coming off. And that is because there's a very skilled perfumer doing this. Castorum to use is obviously not real castorum. Castorum as, the, as an aroma chemical is a really tricky raw material to deal with because it can blow out a formulation and all you're left with is a castorum. And castorum is really nice to work with. But you have to be very, very skilled and understand uh, your formulation and really understand the mathematics in it to get it right. Now, the person that they're suitable for is for, I would say, anti-establishment punk f sort of person. I can't imagine anyone who loves particularly traditional fragrances or fitting in or blue fragrances or there's Ambroxan, Limoline, Monsters. They all hate this. So this is brilliant for people who are brooding, dark, gothic. And this, I know, would be a signature scent and I think you'd wear the hell out of this. For me, this sort of feels like it's, it, it's not really an age. This is more like a person. So I think if you're looking for a signature scent and you just really are rebellious in your nature, if you are a, ugh, I don't want to wear all that stuff which everybody else wears, I think this is really cool. If I was to create this, I mean, I think it's brilliant on its own actually. Uh, this would sit in my fetish range because I think it is really sort of quite uh, sexual and very fetish orientated. So I think if you are really, really confident in your sexuality and really confident in yourself, this is brilliant for you. This is a confident fragrance because this is sort of so different. They've dealt with animal notes so superbly. That's why the marks are high because of the raw materials that they've selected are really, really tricky to deal with. I'm actually in awe of this perfume because you're dealing with very tricky raw materials in a really, really clever way. I deal with these raw materials and they're so, so hard to deal with and you really have to take your time and patience. You get your formulation right and you sort of, I test it like days later and it's, you know, oh, this note's too much or this note's not enough. Oh, and then you have to re-put it all in and rejiggle it around. And this is, I would imagine, has had the same thing that they've sort of gone for something different, wanted to be different. And uh, I imagine there's a lot of uh, care and attention gone to this. They sort of knew what they were doing. This isn't a computer printed out, another limonene and broxin monster. This is, you know, real thought process has gone. It's, yeah, Castorum is just so well placed and it's not overly bitter. It's not overly sweet. It's just perfect as it is. But as I said, it's not, for me, I'd like some sweetness into it. I'd love some more balsams in it. I'd love that to be extended. And I think if that was extended within it, and pulled out a bit, it would get a 10. So for me, it's just personally, I could improve upon this, but I think it's phenomenal for the price. And I think it's just a phenomenal formulation. And as I said, it's for the right person. This is gonna last you ages. This is gonna last you washes. So I would love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe. For fascinating and interesting content. Exciting new unicornness, lots and lots of reviews. Hope you're staying safe and well. And I'll see you soon.